what we dealing with is aggravation developed evil deception wickedness confusion all the things that keep a man from thinking clear from having a focus from understanding truth focus is a state of mind that develops strength it's the strength that we need to pinpoint the direction that we going in therefore in order to be totally focused you have to have the concept and the understanding of what don't matter you have to have the concept and the understanding of discarding and getting rid of things that try to distract you you have to have the concept and the state of mind of being pinpoint laser beam it's mindset environmental confusion and environmental influence has to be destroyed out of your perception and out of your consciousness therefore you become one minded see entertainment and what we call recreational and fun things really weaken your focus because it takes away your seriousness so focus and seriousness is synonymous we have to be focused in order to be serious and be serious in order to be focused because without serious focus there's no progress progress is determined by eyes on the prize mentality is determined by looking and seeing with your consciousness what you want to develop with your body the two become one and they have one mission one goal one thing that they're after and everything else becomes at least secondary maybe even third and fourth dairy but at least secondary so we have to determine what is the most important thing what is the most important things and those things have to be focused and meditate on we have to meditate on what's the most important things regardless of the distractions regardless of the other things that try to come to influence regardless of the environment that we developing in regardless of what the opinions is of other people regardless of what we've been taught of what we believe previously regardless of what we've been in the past regardless of what we thought was true now we have to be born again in our understanding totally new creatures totally new being don't even consider yourself human no more cuz human have weaknesses So therefore we have to see ourselves with no weaknesses. He thought of our good must take. Therefore God has to become one with us and we have to become one with God. The oneness with God. We and God become one. There is no more me, just God. Now this body, now this mind, now this life. and the future of this life is determined by God's mentality and not mine cuz I can't even get my mentality to a high enough level to experience the things that I crave to experience I have not been equipped as an individual and can't be equipped as an individual to go where I'm destined and previously predestinated to go my desires is higher than earthly desires higher than what's physically experienced i have a desire to go into the invisible and make it visible and so the visible becomes invisible and so what's seen now don't even matter and what's seen in the other dimension is the reality a truly transformed being not person a being hashata a un unidentified creature 
One that nobody can put a label or a comprehension or a stereotype on. And it can be done while we're here in this physical earthly realm and dimension. Cause there is other creatures and other beings here that exist. But you're not on that plane and in that frequency or on that understanding to comprehend their existence or their behavior. We see stuff, but we don't realize what's happening. It's hidden in plain sight. So there's another level of consciousness that's needed. A higher degree. Re-education. Re-education of my interpretation of what my perception has been. Now I can't look at nothing that I believe no more. It's as if I was born today for the first time. Clean slate. Therefore, no hindrances and no fears. Now I must achieve what I see in my mind and not what I see with my eyes. <laughs> 